Hello everybody, my name's Pete Bringer from Alan's World of LEGO Reviews. Today I bring you a LEGO City Set 6 number 60060, the Auto Transporter. Pick this up for around about $24.99. It has 349 pieces. Right, so the LEGO website says deliver the cars to the dealer with the amazing Auto Transporter. Deliver the shiny new cars to the LEGO City dealerships with amazing auto transporter. Detach the trailer, lower the ramps and off-road the cool sports cars. After the customer has signed the clipboard, lift up the ramps back into position, hook up the trailer and jump back into the cab ready to collect more vehicles for the eager customers. So this set comes with two minifigures. It has a coffee cup. It has a clipboard I printed on a... 2x2 two two tile. It has a suitcase. It has a trailer and both of them a lowering mechanism to actually get down to cars and go on top and bottom. It comes with two cars but the, ca the set itself as you see there can hold four cars. I'll just zoom in a little bit so we get a little bit more better picture of it. Right just a little sort of a few measurements the auto transporter measures 9 centimeters high, 30, uh, 34 centimeters long, and the, the standard 6 centimeter wide sort of vehicle. Each of the sport cars are 11 centimeters long, and they're actually only 5 centimeters wide, which allows them to sit on top of the on the rails itself. Let's have a little look at these in a bit more detail. I'll just move you all here out of the way and I'll just drive this round just so we can get a little bit of a front view. So, looking at the front itself, it's a nice cab. It actually looks like a British cab at this time. Again, I put my driver onto the British side. Coming over, a few sort of stickers onto the side. Then we've got the transporter on the sides on the side, and then we've got the rear trailer. What I'll do, I'll detach. Yeah, it's a ball joint. Yeah, so if you see it on there, it's a little ball and socket joint that holds it in place. To lower the ramp down, nice little thing. You first lower the bottom bits for the ramp, and then we just slide that down. Nice and simple. And then the car just hooks off. All it is to hook it on. There's a little little yellow hook, and that fits on just the very front bit of the front bumper to bring it back up again you just drive it back up hook it in place and then lift it back up into mm -hmm. the thing you've got the wheels there hold it in over there and then the rear one the rear trailer exactly the same there's no difference it's just only on one wheel comes down and then hooks off the advantage is any standard car would actually fit on that so if I bring my fire car through, bring that up, it sits on the top. Then the sports car can go underneath. Yeah, so that can sit over there, hold it in place, and that holds over by the ramp. Giving ourselves now, I've now got three cars on my auto transporter. Yeah, so any standard five five centimeter sachet or on, on any of the vehicle bases. Yes, yeah, so any of these vehicle bases, which the standard cars are on, they will fit onto this system. Right, the cars. We've got two cars, identical in design. Just notice I've got a few additionals on that, which I put on myself due to I was doing some other things with it not so long ago. Yeah, so identical cars <coughs> in design. Soft tops or coupes, cap, <coughs> that's how you want to call them. One blue, one in black, and a red. Not really much more to say to them. They have a steering wheel, a seat for one passenger to sit inside on a standard base. With no floor things you can see through. Nice sort of basic, sort of nice design. Coming over. I quite like these designs. For a nice standard basic car. So when you look at the Lego City range, there's not much normal civilian type vehicles they actually offer. So if you're doing a, if you're trying to build a own city and have your own sort of play, they give you lots and lots of vehicles to do things with, fire and police and things like that. But having two standard cars 
inside this set and I think the only other set that has a standard vehicle is the is a car breakdown where it has a female has another sports car no I lied as well there's one more with one of the crooks he's using a Ferrari type of vehicle to get away so you could then use that as a sports car for the police to, uh, of the crooks to get away or just put that into a normal vehicle get into the into the cab so we get into here just got the standard cab and then we have our clipboards inside there so I'll now get the mini figs and have a quick look at them okay so we've now got the two mini figs the one on the left is the driver holding his clipboard you can see here he's got a peach cap he's got the new style cap with the hole on the top to allow him to place additional items on it um, he's got his face he's got a pair of sunglasses and a smile on there he just got his looks like a denim type jacket with a t-shirt and no print on the trousers but you can see there's a clipboard with pen on the side there you got the dealership owner so very very suave yeah looking on there he's got his suit jacket tie um nice come over hair sort of well groomed with his little briefcase probably with a briefcase full of money to pay for the cars he's just take ownership of on the back we've got a little bit of design on back of well, each of the trousers again these are only one headed figures or one faced figures I should say so let's get everything back in for the final shot we've got our two cars let's just zoom out a little bit and we've got our transporter over there so overall very impressed with this set lots of different things to do as I said I quite liked it due to it had normal civilian cars which I can add into the Lego City the truck is a standard type British tiles truck this time instead of the normal classic Americans you see going through the things so that sort of appealed to me a little bit more I just like the very very simple mechanism using the Technic bits just moving it up and down I think that's a nice little added system on there um, it doesn't have a sachet or only such it's built onto standard plates yeah normal um, 4x6 plates to build up this item over there but it does have some vehicle sliders and that's on the back that's holding a few little things added as added weight you, if you see another video you saw me using the transporter in conjunction with the breakdown lorry I um, just showed you how to pick that up as well so if you like this please say like to the video add any comments down below subscribe to see all my videos and see upcoming videos coming up very shortly I do like all your comments and you've been very pleasurable to listen to today so again thank you very much and bye